I have, I have the pleasure to introduce you to Wubetu from Ethiopia. And uh, we had a chat together. And um, we, as we just tell, we are entrepreneurs. And then I say, OK, uh, how many siblings do you have? And I say, I have seven, and he have nine. And I say, OK, I start my first business to make my contribution to my family when I was 12, 13, you know, to play around and make the first money. He was six. <laughs> and uh, I have nice shoes. He have a completely nice setup, you know, a beautiful dresser. <laughs> And um, then we talked about what he's doing, and he say, oh, yes, I'm, I'm founding a company. And I say, how much people you have in your company? He say, 500. I said, wow, 500 people? <laughs> said something. And then the job he has in is in travel business. And as you all know, traveling is probably the most important education what you can do. You know, we know from the history, traveling is this who educate us. Even we have today compensate our footprint in traveling. That's what we can do, that's what we have to do, that's what we should do. But if you come in a country and you have somebody like him who is an eco-friendly traveler for you and guide you to one of the most beautiful country in the world, in Ethiopia, where we all have our roots. How many people of you had coffee today morning? Raise your hand. You know, coffee is our good friend. You know, and coffee comes from Kaffa, from Ethiopia. And many people in the villages in Ethiopia live from the coffee culture. It's the only cash crop what they can do. So traveling is a, such a big gift to our world. And that's what they do. The first thing is what they teach me, what I want to do with you together. We can stand. Can you stand up, please? He show me how people say welcome in Ethiopia. And this is very nice. So we, so first of all, we shake hands in Europe because we don't have a weapon in our hand. You know this? So that's already a first beginning. So you take your hand, look to somebody, okay? You take your hand, and then you make three times. Wow, wow. wow. Yeah. Okay, do it, do it. Try, try it out, okay? We do it again. One, okay? One, two, three. We do two, okay? I am a social entrepreneur, a filmmaker, and a student in the United States. But at six years old, I was a proud shepherd boy in the caves. I grew up in one of the most remote and beautiful mountains in the northern part of Ethiopia where seeing a car is considered as a big deal. <laughs> a place where school, writing books, are slabs of wood, and a place where homes are made from grass and mud. My family lived in one of those huts, and we owned 200 sheep, a few cows, and horses. I was responsible for all of those animals. I did not start school until I was 10 years old. Until then, the mountains were my greatest teacher. As a shepherd, I hunted with the animals searching for food. I slept in the caves with them. And I created fire by striking rocks together to keep us all warm, me and my animals, and to cook the food as we hunted. When I started school, I walked barefoot for five hours round the trip every day. Later, I made shoes by, from old car tires to make my hiking easier. 
I did my homework by candlelight while planting my feet in the cold water to stay awake. And for sport, I created a soccer ball from all the clothes, sewing all the clothes together. The ball would change my life forever. In 2009, when I was 14 years old, a group of travelers visited our remote village. One of those tourists stopped to watch our game. So I kicked my ball to him, and we started playing together. At the end, he gave me his business card. The name on the business card said, Blake Mykoski, founder and chief shoe giver of Tom Shoes, a global company. Well, I had no idea what that all meant. <laughs> but a friend explained to me about business cards and said I could contact Blake, who it turns out is a one young world counselor. I had never seen a computer before that but I walked 12 hours to the closest internet cafe to send my first email. <laughs> to my surprise, Blake responded. And we are still connected 10 years later. With Blake's mentorship and support, I have developed my education in Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia, and now in the United States at Wake Forest University. When I graduate next year, I will be the first one to do so from my entire village. skills I developed as a boy caring for my animals and creating resources. Later, my chance meeting with Blake, and today, the educational journeys that I have been, I have a deep appreciation for all that the Seminole Mountains provided me. But opportunities come with responsibilities. In 2017, when I was still a student and 22 years old, I co-founded Simen Eco Trick, a company that provides a travel service to Ethiopia, taking tourists across stunning mountains and historical sites such as Lalibala and the ancient city of Gondor. Our business supports education and addresses poverty in local communities. Simen Eco Trick has created job opportunities for 500 people. As tour guides, scouts, chefs, and drivers. We have also created a project around the menstruation cycle that employs a woman making sanitary products for 2,000 people, young girls in their isolated villages.
We are building a school that will support more than 1,400 people in the Summit Mountains. So far, we have supported more than 3,000 people in two years, period. And next year, we'll support 12,000 more. Lack of educational resources was handicapping my community and condemning us for poverty. But no more, not anymore. I am a proud shepherd boy. I am a social entrepreneur, and I'm going to turn our story around. Thank you. <laughs> you have to stand up again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joy.